It's time for an update on Gala Games, an interesting coin. You guys know this one. This is a potential banger, one of my top picks for uh, the coming bull run or the second half of the bull run anyway. Uh, and if we are just drawing in some structural lines here, guys, just roughly, uh, this bottom line is obviously going to be the most important because this is the integrity of our bull run. Okay, uh, right now, this has been in a pretty nasty downtrend. Uh, we're seeing very uh, descending kind of structure right descending triangles all over your face and not just there but uh up here as well okay if i am gonna find the right tool there we go beautiful yeah not just there but there as well so uh, this is typically a bad sign for most coins uh, but it does look like it is in the midst of potentially breaking towards the upside here just be very very careful with this thing the structural line is down at three five so if you did want to be patient with this one uh, that would be the area i would be looking personally uh, for us to head down to first and then bounce on if it holds if it doesn't hold then uh it could get pretty nasty okay i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie here it could get pretty gnarly and nasty uh, coming through here. Uh, we do have some kind of structure towards the downside to catch us, but uh, it's not fantastic. This is like the bottom. Okay, so we really need this one to hold uh, if this is going to be maintaining its bullish trajectory. Okay, trajector traje trajectory. It's been a long day for me. It's been a long day. But uh, what we can say is, yeah, if it does want to break over certain descending um, diagonal resistances here, guys, this is going to definitely be one to watch we do also have a trap zone towards the upside so we're going to draw that in beautiful stuff looking at this wick parallel with the uh, candle body uh, trend line which is going to be more important uh, and yeah we're going to see if we can get above this bad boy if we can then there is hope for this coin uh, and there is potentially a trade coming through if we can get over this high here i'm, I'm looking at this zone here right so about four cents six if we can get above there and maintain it uh, it is it is something that we could potentially find a long on. I do just want to check. Is this going to work? Hello? Okay, we're going to look at the four hour here. See what we've got. Is this going to work? Bada boom, bada bing. Do we have... Is this not going to work? That is just savage, dude. Savagery. Um, let's see if that's going to do it. Is that going to do it? No. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll bring that up in another video. But um, yeah, I think the short story with this is I wouldn't be watching the this too much anyway. That's, that's really what I was going to show you. It was working before the video. Okay. Yeah. So perfect. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't be watching this too much anyway, because what I have seen with Gala on the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band is uh, we don't often spend a lot of time above it. Right, you can see here when we do hit it, we are actually just rejecting off of it pretty much every time. Uh, besides this last run up that we had, uh, it, it, like pretty much the peak of the cycle or the micro cycle we've had so far, right? Um, yeah, it stayed above it for some time. And when we do get above it like this, fantastic stuff. Okay, but typically we're treading along it, as you can see here. Right? We're, we're not spending too much time above it. It is a key resistance and uh, oscillation point. <laughs> as we're just making up phrases here uh, but um uh yeah we can we could probably expect if we do hit this to have a bit of a rejection uh but if we can get above it at any point that could be something uh that's a little bit more promising but just be careful with this one this isn't really normally i would say with our average true ranges uh you could use it as a stop loss right a trailing stop loss but in this case for this altcoin different altcoins will have different edges uh with different indicators of course and not not like an indicator won't work the same on every chart and that's the difference between a good trader and a bad trader right uh, identifying using an indicator but identifying different strategies with that indicator uh, depending on the asset okay uh, so what we will say with this thing is uh yeah i mean a pump is good we like a pump okay <laughs> pump a rumper is good okay uh, but we do need to get above this four cent six area uh, to have a, a real run okay a real run up and we have the if we're looking at moving averages here we have the 200 on the four hour 200 ema to be precise uh, and yeah this is going to be a key area for a potential rejection as well so a lot of things in the way here but if we can just crawl ahead if we can fight through here with gala games and just bang it to this 46 area we'll be above that 200 sma we'll be above that trap zone okay and we'll be above the volume weighted atr band so if we can get above all three of those then we are in the clear and then it's boom straight to the moon and hopefully we can get some uh, some resolution here uh, from this downwards macro momentum we've been having okay besides that we want to look for 35 to hold if 35 doesn't hold i'll probably actually be looking for a short here because uh, uh, these um 
these altcoins, these, I mean, obviously this is a high cap altcoin, right? Uh, it's not super high, okay, but it's, it's, it's high, <laughs> okay? Uh, so what we can expect with this thing uh, is, yeah, I mean, it is going to, it's going to have a, a big effect on it if the market dumps, okay? Uh, it's not super high, as I said, but it's high enough where it's predictable, which is good, okay? It's not going to be too random in terms of liquidity, all right? So if we are looking at this, yeah, about 3 cent 2 would be an area to watch if we retest after that and that retest fails. We look for 3 cent 2 to break. It's also a, a major horizontal here, as you can see, lots of wicks in this area. And so if we get below that area after testing it, okay, then uh, there will be a beautiful short here. I'm not really looking at measure moves right now with this thing. Um, because I, I think we do have a major move on the market soon. It's it's going to fade a lot of measure moves. I think it's going to be something that's uh, double digit percentages, either up or down. Okay, so we need to be prepared for that. Uh, and we're really just looking at these supports. Okay, so if we are looking at this, a potential 18% trade here down to this next support at 26. Uh, so uh, yeah, definitely something that we can be eyeing up. And then towards the upside here, I mean, uh, if we are just going to trade this level by level, let's say we do get to about 47, let's say 48, just to be cautious here, guys, uh, then uh, we can take profit at pretty much any of these highs. So a 10% trade up to about 5.2. Okay, uh, we, we probably want to look at this horizontal on the lower side as well. So uh, yeah, 16% at 5.5. Uh, we're going to look for a breakdown point there as well, about 6 cent there for 25% gains in the bag. Okay, and those are the two trades I'm looking for here for gala gains uh, hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys i do this for you all right so feel free to uh subscribe to the channel give it a little like and uh, if you do want these updates like uh we're doing we're doing a lot of ta updates on the discord feel free to join the patreon okay uh, it's only 10 bucks a month so feel free to do that and uh we're doing giveaways as well lots of giveaways patreon members get um get um more of the giveaways right more entries so good for you guys anyway catch you guys in the next one peace out goodbye from me Hamilton.